The Society of Government Pharmacists recently revealed that the chief executive officer of the National Medicines Regulatory Authority destroyed vital documents linked to the substandard and fake medicines that were introduced to the country and led to much controversy in recent times. On Thursday, the board members of the NMRA attempted to remove Vijita Gunasekara from the post of CEO. However, he opposed the move, questioning the legality of it. An overseas travel ban already exists on the CEO of the NMRA. No details are available on the documents that he is alleged to have shredded that belongs to the NMRA. This is not the first time that an allegation of this nature was made to the National Medicines Regulatory Authority. On the 9th of July 2021, a total of 5,623 NMRA documents that were in the government cloud were deleted. Deputy Solicitor General Dilip Pires from the Attorney General's Department making submissions in court revealed that the deletion of data was an act and a conspiracy by the medicine mafia which imports medicines and equipment to the country and generates money illegally. However, to date, the motive of this data deletion and who ordered it remains a mystery. Against such a backdrop, the chief executive officer of the NMRA faces fresh allegations of document destruction. Legal action will have to be taken against those responsible. You can solve this issue by temporarily removing those involved. Despite the allegations being proven, some of those who face these charges remain in their positions. This shows the might of the medicine mafia. The incidents surrounding immunoglobulin are just one event of the chains of the events. Investigations were carried out into the deletion of data from the NMRA system. What happened? Happened. At first it was said that it was an accident. However, one person took hours to selectively delete the documents from the system. What legal action was taken to those who committed this act? We are not talking about remanding them and releasing them. We are highlighting this because the medicine mafia is fearlessly engaging in these acts in the open. <laughs> Activists from the health service visited the Human Rights Commission of Sri Lanka over the matter. The supplier, who is the main accused in the immunoglobulin deal, told the court that a mechanism linked to the then health minister, health secretary and the health officials was behind this. His evidence is crucial. We request the CID, the justice minister and the minister in charge of the police to ensure that this witness is protected. This witness must be provided with security. The CEO of the NMRA, Vijit Gunasekara, remains in the NMRA premises without leaving. The letter removing him from his post was sent to the health secretary and he is not signing the letter. He might fear that if the CEO is removed and the documents are leaked, their character would be exposed. The names of those in the office of President Ranil Vikramasinghe are linked to this. In addition, the names of those who pressured the health ministry are also mentioned. We need justice. Do not obstruct the CID investigation.